the main thing here is not for you to get x can you substitute your x back to this place to get 162 okay welcome to my channel i'm going to solve for this and then i also substitute it back to this to show that what we did is right i think that is the most interesting aspect of this video so don't miss that aspect okay now we are asked to solve for x yes everyone knows that this is the only way or the only approach to this is if we introduce log to both sides of the equation okay so we are going to introduce log to both sides of the equation so we are going to have log one six two all right now when you have log a to the power of b this becomes b multiplied by log a all right now we are going to bring this down so we are going to have x multiplied by log 27 is equal to log 100 and what 62 all right now when you look at this you can see let's divide both sides of this equation by log 27 divided by log 27 because that is the only way i can get what the value of my x now, this we divide this, and we have that x is equal to log 162 divided by log 27. Now, we are going to simplify this further. Yes, we can't just leave this the way it is. Let's simplify further. So, to do that, we have log 162 in terms of log 27 can be written as what? x is equal to log 27 multiplied by 6. Yes. Okay. 27 multiplied by 6 divided by log 27. Now, I want us to recall our logarithm, logarithmic law that states that log A multiplied by B is equal to log A plus log B. Okay. So, since we have this here, we are going to add them. So, we'll have that x is equal to log 27 plus log 6 divided by log 27. All right? So, we can write that x is equal to log 27 divided by log 27 plus log 6 divided by log 27 now when this divides this we are going to have one right that means we can write this as what that x is equal to one plus log six divided by log 27 now x is equal to one plus we can further express log six as what as log three times two right so we write this as log 3 multiplied by 2. Okay, this is multiplication. 3 multiplied by 2. Now, divided by log 27 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. Now we solve that x is equal to 1 plus. Now we can write log 3 plus log 2. Okay? Just like I explained initially, divided by then, this will come down to give us 3 log 3. Now, you can see that we have another two parts of this particular equation. So, we have that x is equal to 1 plus log 3 divided by 3 log 3. Okay? Now, plus log 2 divided by 3 log 3. All right, if this is the first time you are coming across this channel, please subscribe to the channel on your notification bell so I'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. I upload video twice daily, at least two times every day. So you can log in at your convenient time to watch our new uploads, okay? And please give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this particular video. Thank you so much. Now, from here, we can see that uh, x is equal to 1 plus. Now, what do we have here? This we divide this. So, we have 1 over 3, right? 1 over 3 plus this becomes log 2 
or you can call this 1 over 3 multiplied by what? Log 2 divided by log 3. All right? Yeah. Okay. Now, what do we have? That x is equal to 1 over 1 plus 1 over 3. We give us what? If we take our LCM to be 3, I'm going to use, uh, what is it called? The butterfly method. So, 1 times 3 will give us 3. Plus 1 times 1 will give us 1. So, we are going to end up with 4 over 3. Okay? So, I will write 4 over 3 here. So, we have 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log. Now, when you have log A divided by log B, this is same thing as log A base B, right? So, we can write this as log 2 base 3. Now, this becomes our equation or the value of X. Now, we are going to substitute this back into this particular question to prove that what we got is right, okay? Now, it's time to prove that what we got is right, okay? So, the whole of this is our X. Now, let's substitute it into this equation to see if we are going to get 162, okay? So, we'll write that 27 to the power of 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log um, base 3 of 2, okay? That everything is equal to 162. Okay, now recall that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. So we are going to use that same formula or that same law here. So we are going to have 27 to the power of 4 over 3 plus, sorry, multiplied by 27 to the power of 1 over 3 log 2 base 3 is equal to 162. Okay, now recall that 27 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. So we can write this as 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 4 over 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 1 over 3 log 2 base 3 is equal to 162. Okay? All right. Now 3, we divide 3 here and we have 3 to the power of 4 multiplied by now this 3 we also divide this 3 and we have 3 to the power of log 2 base 3 all right is equal to 162 now 3 to the power of 4 is 81 so we write 81 multiplied by now when you have a to the power of log b base a okay this is same thing as what b this is equal to B. So we can now write the whole of this as what? The whole of this is equal to 2. Is equal to 162. Now, it's 1 times 2. We give us 162. And 162 is equal to 162. Mm. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day.